Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available in Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and this is part two of our cattle uh, fencing design. Uh, it's a little breezy once again, sorry about that. And we have gotten a little farther. So I want to show you, sorry about the breeze, we finally get the door in. And we're using a, a spring-loaded door that uh, goes inward instead of outward. And uh, we've never done that before. Usually we pull them out. But uh, in the past when we had game birds, it'd actually be nice to kind of creep in like this and come in. We, so we did put the spring-loaded uh, <laughs> hinges on there, I guess. So I wanted to talk about some of the things we did. We did reinforce this. We're not going to rely just on zip ties. We're going to. We also use these little uh, C clamps. Uh, however, they they have a little play in them, so we're doing a combination of both. But I figure over time I'm going to end up replacing some of the zip ties. So here's what you got to know. Uh, I watched a lot of people, and I'm trying to block the wind a little bit. Um, I watched a lot of different YouTube videos of people making these. Uh, hoop designs and they say if you're a little anal uh, If you don't like things being perfect You don't want to build one of these and they're absolutely right uh, It's hard to get things square had a little trouble with the door um, If you look over here, it is off a little bit but it kind of happened because of the hoop and so It still came out beautiful, but it's still not perfect uh, things are off. Uh, we did put a lot more of these uh, plumber straps in all the way along just to read sure that they're going to last a long time. And we did get a cross beam here put in in the back. And we used some repurposed wood. And this wood was not very good. But we're going to stick with these two pieces. But we put new wood in here. Uh, that's where the uh, chicken house is going to be. So we're still working on that design. But the big news is the babies are here. So I'm going to take you over and let you see that. So um, before I go here, we are going to line this with chicken wire. We're actually going vertically. Vertically? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Across with our chicken wire because we're using six foot wide, uh, one inch chicken wire. We're going to go... Uh, in a 50 foot roll, we should have enough to do this whole thing. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, any other problems we had? Uh, other than you just got to be flexible when you're building this thing. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, a good, good contractor probably could get more square than we did. But man, we're really happy with this thing. This thing is awesome. So let's go look at the new babies that came in today. So we have our baby chickens in our little barn area. Uh, one of the things you might have noticed from two videos ago, I was going to use a wood box. But the more I thought about that, the more I kind of didn't like the fire hazard of that. So I went out and bought a 100 gallon uh, steel or aluminum uh, water tank. And so let's go take a look. Yes, it's dark in here. But uh, let's see if you can see here a little bit. So this is the new uh, uh, tank we're using. It's really, really deep and I kind of like that. We're trying to keep it around uh, 95 degrees and uh, we actually are using, uh, I know the lighting's not that good in here, but I'm using a hand thermometer to check on the babies. Uh, if I do a measurement right now, I'm showing about 90 degrees at the far side and over about a hundred when you get right under the lamp. So I think we're balanced out enough where the, uh, the chicken, the new chickens will be comfortable. So I did put the camera into the tank. So here's a little bit of film of the babies up close. <laughs>
also, guys, before I let you go, I'm going to let you know, I, I actually had my chickens mailed to me. It was a super efficient way to do it. Uh, these babies were born only two days ago, and I got them the next day. So they're actually only like two days old, and they were shipped from uh, North Carolina. It was amazing. I, all ten of them seem to be doing pretty good. It's a little early yet to find out. But uh, they seem to be eating, drinking water. Uh, they seem content. But uh, you can kind of see down here. But they're doing uh, pretty darn good. So, uh, believe it or not, with this beautiful weather we're having, we actually got some rain going through. So we actually came in here just in time. So I am using a medicated uh, feed for them just because they came from a farm. They say when you get new baby chicks and stuff, wash your hands a lot uh, after you've, if you've been around them. And uh, we'll uh, do an update of how well the babies are doing and how well they survived a big shipment being sent across the United States. I'll put a link in the description below so you can see what company we used. I highly recommend them. They're fair. They uh, keep you informed where your shipment is. I was amazed how quick I got my birds. And the box that came in, I'll show you, was like this. Sealed really well with some instructions of what to do. Uh, just some good guidance, which is always good. And uh, I'm very happy. So there you go, guys. The chickens are here, and we got to get that coop done. So stay tuned for part three. Thank you for watching. And uh, please, uh, if you have any comments or ideas, uh, if you have something you didn't like that we've done, please be, uh, don't be rude, just be professional and leave your comments below. We appreciate it. So guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, part three will be coming soon. Talk to you later. Bye.